What is up, guys? Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm going to be making some um, cilantro, lime, shrimp, but there's also other things in it that make it very sweet and lovely and that's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna make that together and I'm actually gonna make it in a large quantity so I can eat it throughout the week. <laughs> just so you don't think you're like, wow, that's a lot of shrimp. Like, I'm not just making it for tonight, I promise. So I'm gonna make that, and then on the sides, I'm doing a um, shiitake mushroom and green beans. Um, not just one mushroom, it'll be many of the shrooms. <laughs> on the side, I'm gonna make some green beans and some shiitake mushrooms, and I'm gonna put some um, different spices in there too. So I hope you stick around to watch that. Let's get started. Like an actual chef right now. No, I need a hat. The first things I'm gonna grab are the butter and the olive oil and the shrimp. So I've gotten all those and I got the good old sto uh, stove. <laughs> got the whole stove here. I do have that actually also. But um sorry, the towels just <laughs> threw off my game. My A game. No, I'm sorry. Okay, oh. um, by the way, wash your hands before you start cooking. I already did twice, so. And um, you're gonna make sure you have peeled shrimp, and if you don't have peeled shrimp, then peel them. Uh, but you can leave the tails on. And then you're just gonna start throwing the shrimp in there with the butter and the olive oil. I'm gonna put it all in there. <laughs> All right, so you've got your cilantro all choppied up, and you're gonna add some honey on. Um, I, it's like three teaspoons for this amount of shrimp, I would say, but um, obviously it's a bad method because honey is really sticky, so I just started pouring stuff on top of it, trying to get it off. <laughs> and then I put like four um, teaspoons of lime juice, not like, I definitely put four. There's a fourth one. And um, just stir it up. And then, um, oh yes, garlic. I add uh, three teaspoons of garlic, I believe, and some garlic juice. So, yeah, there's the juicy juice. And then we're gonna stir that up. Just stir right up. Then, oh yeah, the soy sauce, last but not least. Just some pumps. <laughs> Just, mm, mm. And then you spread that sauce. Make them shrimps get lost in the sauce. As they get lost in the sauce. If you ain't got sauce, you lost. But sometimes you get lost in the sauce. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Yeah, that's right. Let her sit. Okay, so now that we've got the shrimp cooking, um, we can start working. You know, cooking with the sauce on it. Now we can start working on the vegetables. That's right. So now we've got the green beans, the green beans and the mushrooms. <laughs> the, I almost said it again. Green beans and the mushrooms. And uh, oh my gosh, this butter melted because it was by that candle. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna get the pan ready for the green beans and mushrooms. Shrooms. Okay, I'm gonna take all these green beans out that I got fresh from the store. Oh, I forgot one. Sorry, little guy. Then I'm gonna put some Worcestershire sauce to give it a little salty flavor um, and mix that up real nice. And then I'm gonna put a bit of a dash of cayenne pepper. Well, it was quite a bit more than a dash, but I like it spicy, what can I say? And then some lime juice, just for some icing on the cake or some lime juice on the green beans. We're gonna toss that right in there and let her, let her cook for a little bit. Make sure you're consistently checking on the shrimp, by the way, because, yeah. Now I'm gonna do the mushrooms, throw them all in the sauce bowl, because, um, I mean, really, it's just gonna get the remainder of the sauce. It doesn't need to be completely clean, because they're all gonna complement each other. So what I just threw in there was cinnamon, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna mix the cinnamon in there, 
and let the mushrooms kind of absorb the juice from the green beans. And um, I also added some pepper, which I did not video for some reason, but I did. I think it was when it was on the stove, but yeah, I added some pepper and a dash of salt to the mushrooms as well. Um, so here's everything just cooking away. And I know you saw me put the green beans in the Tupperware. That was because I needed to make room for the mushrooms, but yeah. So here's the complete product. There's the shrimpies and the green beans and the mushrooms. Cutie booties, oh yeah. There's my food, yummy yummy. There is my dinner for the next few days probably. Bless, bless, bless. All right, kiddos. <clears throat> I'm off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Just one little note. Do remember that the green beans are spiced, but you can mediate um, the spice based off how much cayenne pepper you put in it because obviously cayenne pepper is what makes it spicy. Next Wednesday, not the Wednesday, not today, the day that I'm posting it, but Next Wednesday, I will be posting, and then I'm off to Europe for three weeks, so you're going to hopefully see vlogs every week while I'm there, just depending on like if I have internet access and where I am and all that stuff, and an interesting experience trying to edit on the road um, multiple weeks in a row, so that's gonna be pretty fun, but I hope you guys stick with me through that because I really, really, really want to share my European adventures with you guys. I love Europe so much and I'm getting to go to new countries this year. And I will be vlogging, of course, so just stay tuned for those. But that will not be next week, starting the week after that. So I hope to see you guys then and next week as well. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you try maybe one or all of these and like them. And everything's delicious. I already tried it all off camera. On that note, I'm going to go eat. <laughs> Adios, amigos.